And so you meet Alan, you become friends. You... I become friends, and this is, I tell this story so much because it was such a paradigm shift for me. It was like, three years ago, I was making 30 grand a year. Now I make $200,000 a month, I have 60 rentals, and I want to buy a jet. And he's like, if you don't fucking believe me, he pulls out his phone and he starts scrolling through pictures of checks. He's like, this is what I'm doing. And so after I did that mock home inspection, I called him, I was like, bro, what the hell do you do? And so he's like, all right, go download property radar and go door knock all the people who are in foreclosure. Call me when you have someone who wants to sell. And so at that point, my pregnant girlfriend thought I was cheating on her because I'd just wake up. I would leave and I'd go knock doors all day. And then I'd come home when the sun went down and I didn't get anything that day, but Alan's like, bro, you got to talk to a thousand people. I was like, all right, I'm gonna talk to a thousand people. So I do that and then eventually I get one deal. And then at that point, I'm at a crossroads. My son is born, I'm a single dad and I'm working for Alan and I start to do deals with him and I have to make the choice like, well, I can't bring my son to school. Like I, I was really like in the middle of like the classroom, like rocking my infant son in class. Like, trying not to get him to cry in like my communications class. I was like, well, I can either do this or I can work with Alan. He doesn't care if I bring my son to work. And so I started just taking him to work and I just- Oh, so you were in college still whenever your son was born? 